Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, home to 645,000 residents, and also where I call home. It's also home of some of the most iconic images that our country has to offer. Washington is divided into eight geographical wards. They are divided economically as they are racially. Ward 7 and 8, which are in the southeastern quadrant of the city, comprise the largest percentage of blacks, the highest unemployment rate, and nearly all the 19% of those that fall under the poverty line. With the heavy emphasis on reducing the social economic gap in those wards, there have been increase of parents working. Thus, children are left home alone to fend for themselves, oftentimes being very depressed. These are called latchkey kids. The Office of the State Superintendent of Education oversees the operation of 277 public, charter, and private schools across the city. The public schools are led by Chancellor Kaya Henderson, who says that the arts are just important as English, reading, and math. The Arts Department is led by a Director of Arts, which oversees performing, digital, and visual arts, as well as a specialist of the visual arts, which guides the day-to-day -day operation of visual arts teachers. With the emergence and focus on the arts by the school system, there has been a call for student artwork to be displayed throughout the city in various forms and fashions. On a very rare occasion do the students get to benefit from the hard work and dedication they put into the work. There may be an occasional poster contest where the students can claim a savings bond or a small stipend, but who really benefits from the work of the students? There is a major culminating art show each and every year at the Reagan National Airport where the teachers select the best of the best to hide the efforts and talents of the students. This is a showcase of DC Public Schools where they get to display the product in front of travelers who are visiting the nation's capital. But who benefits from this display of student artwork? Thus Art Enterprise, a before and after school arts program where students will be provided a safe and caring environment will also be able to create artwork of their own and be able to benefit from their revenue of sales. Congress Heights Recreation Center, located in Ward 8, is a one-room, 1,000-square-foot facility where this could take place. Through a grant from the D.C. Commission of Arts and Humanities, a $50,000 art education grant can be used to, to convert the dilapidated building into a thriving art studio space where students will be able to create their work. The grant would also provide for supplies as well as stipends for educational teachers. Not only will this just be an art project, but this will also be a math project. Students will figure out the pros and cons of being able to sell their work and being able to put a value to their work as they will go to market at flea markets and farmers markets across the city on a weekly basis. Thus, the students will be able to have ownership of their own work, artistic enterprise.